We're also a charity. We cover Surrey and 14 of the London boroughs. Uh, we go up to the age of 21 and we offer including short breaks and obviously end of life care. We're open 24-7, 365 days of the year, and we have a very comprehensive program. Um, our family support services offer home visits, one-to-ones, family group, sibling support, uh, also memory making for the end of life children. So if we have a child either at the hospital, at home, uh, three o'clock in the morning, it's not unheard for our staff to go out and support that family. We also have two cold rooms in um, our hospice here at uh, Guildford, where children can come and they don't have to go to the funeral home, which is a huge support to families because the whole family can come in. Um, it's two rooms, one of them a lounge next to the cold room, and we can wait then until the funeral takes place. Um, our family support team and myself will also find ourselves involved in child in need meetings, safeguarding meetings, send meetings, and obviously I do mental capacity and dolls applications. Um, back to the end of life care, we also offer three year bereavement support for our families, and that's including support for um, siblings and for grandparents. We have six counsellors, we have seven therapists, including art therapy, complementary therapy and music therapy. Um, we also, as I mentioned, have five uh, family support workers, but we do have work for at least 10 support workers. Uh, we offer weekend services and events. Uh, I'm going to soon have another colleague working with me because as you all know and experience and have already said, young people are living into adulthood. And this is a challenge for the services. This focus is for young people, either up to the age of 18, 21. My question to all of us is what happens after that? And adult services is not prepared for them. And that will leave a huge gap in their services. Um, we have a space team which is medically led by a consultant and a clinical nurse specialists who again will go out on a 24-7 basis. We run an on-call service. We have a community team of nurses, uh, physio. Uh, we only have one physio and also work for her um, could be doubled. We have a hydro pool. Uh, which is essential for many of our young people, particularly wheelchair bound people who uh, don't get the opportunity to stretch their limbs, enjoy the play and leisure that Hydro Pool will offer. Uh, we, of course, have our in house team. We have nine beds, but as Paul and others have alluded to, with funding and staffing challenges, we are not always able to open that, those beds. And whilst we're a charity, we now seek funding and funding comes for those respite beds, either from the local authority uh, who will pay for respite or the continuing health care team. Many of our youngsters reach the eligibility for continuing health care, and that is a major provider. Um, we, of course, rely on our a fundraising team which is headed up by Karen Sugarman. They are based at our Hampton office um, which was previously our second hospice but we've had to close that since Covid due to the lack of funding and the lack of staff but we use it very much for therapy, family events um, like Paul, no like Rob was saying at uh, White Lodge. We have a number of quite um, well-known people who will come and do events for us. Uh, David Williams will come and read his books. Joe, um, various others will come and do activities which will raise the profile of the hospice because most of us are not getting the statutory funding that we need to continue. Um, and I think many services are looking at that. 
we all, and I suspect we are all subject to working now under the ICB and the ICS, is the Integrated Care Board, and we're very much trying to make our presence felt so that we can start to influence what will be there for young people when they reach the age of 18 and the age of 21 when they leave our services. You've all described some wonderful services it really worries me that those services do not continue once they reach young adulthood. And I think that's it. 